What's up, guys? I got a few minutes, and I want to make a quick video on just using and playing with perfect geometry in Adobe Illustrator. Um, we're using a digital software, so there's no reason that our geometry shouldn't be perfect. That things can't be perfectly aligned. And yet, time and time again, I see students whose objects are just kind of everywhere along the page, or they're just like a little off and not perfectly aligned. And there's so many things that we can do uh, to prevent that, or to even play with perfect geometry. Um, like first things first, let's just make some shapes. Um, with my shape tools, hotkey M for the rectangle or L for the ellipse tool. Um, if I click and drag, I got a rectangle. I can use my smart guides right now that I see to make a perfect square. But if I just hold shift when I'm dragging, it maintains a perfect shape or a perfect uh, proportion shape. So right now it's a square. Um, if I use L for my ellipse tool and hold shift, it's a circle. Something else I can do while I'm clicking and dragging the shapes um, is if I hold shift, it stays perfect. But if I hold alt or option on my keyboard, it scales the shape from the center. So if I hold Option and Shift, now I've got a perfect square coming from the center of where I clicked on. L for the ellipse tool, perfect circle from the center of where I clicked on. Pretty cool. V for the selection tool, select my stuff, delete it. Um, so holding Shift and scaling, um, or even like rotating. So like, let's say I have a, uh, a rectangle, V for the selection tool, I click to rotate. If I hold, I can see my little degrees right there, but if I hold shift while I rotate, it rotates at perfect 45 degree angles, right? These are just 90 degree angles, I guess. But at perfect angles, so I can keep my geometry perfect in that way too, holding shift when you rotate. Um, let's see here, smart guides, those little pink lines, if you don't see them um, under view, you can go to smart guides, command U to turn them off and on. Um, I always have them on because it's just really useful to see a quick example of where things are in, uh, connection with each other. So like I can see that using my smart guide I can try to align this one up with the center of the blue or the cyan circle. I can now use my uh, smart guides to line this up with the dead center. Should say yeah. Um, so smart guides are really 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 cool. But uh, <clears throat> let's see we made shapes. Um, another way to make sure geometry is perfect is the use of a grid. Uh, let me bring up the internet browser really quick really right here. Uh, if I just type in graphic design the grid Uh, historically in graphic design, well before computers were used, there's this notion of using a invisible grid to perfectly align things. Um, and if things were on a grid, whether or not that grid was actually visible, the human brain just sees that as natural, kind of like, so like just sees that things are naturally where they're supposed to be. Um, there's tons of videos on it. Uh, I recommend looking up YouTube's on uh, YouTube videos on just the grid, um, but just some examples of how it gets used in poster design, that we have this invisible grid that we can just line things up to, and then even if that grid is no longer present in the final image, we can still see it uh, being used. I could talk, I could teach a whole lesson on the use of that grid, but Illustrator comes with its own uh, invisible grid. If you go to view, we got show grid and snap to grid. Hotkeys are command apostrophe, command shift apostrophe. Um, I'm gonna command apostrophe to show the grid. Uh, and now I see a perfect square grid. If I were to print this document right now, the grid would not be printed, right? This grid is invisible. Um, but then if I do command shift apostrophe, which was the snap to grid one, now when I make shapes, it snaps all the positioning to the grid. So I can move things around and they move exactly uh, pertaining to that grid. So I can use that to like, line things up perfectly, create perfect patterns. Again, we're just talking about this idea of perfect geometry. Um, so that's the grid, very, very, very useful. Uh, command shift apostrophe to turn off snap and command apostrophe to hide the grid. Um, now, uh, one more basic, basic, basic tool with the minute I got left is the align tools. Um, this is really, really important. I usually have these always open. I close them so I can show you where to find it in this video. Now, in uh, CC 2019, if I select more than one object, I see some align tools down here. But I like to just have that window open. If you go to Window, Align, we have a, a window that will always show us this stuff. Um, so right here, I have align objects on the horizontal axis or on the vertical axis. Uh, horizontal align left sl uh, slaps them all to the left side. Center positions them all uh, roughly based off of their center, not roughly, exactly based off of their center. And then uh, you can kind of guess what the right side does. The vertical will take them all to the top, all to the center, uh, or all to the bottom. So you could really quickly align them all perfectly in their centers. Um, if I reposition these or get myself a, a few, get myself a few 
differently spaced circles. This distribute objects, if I click on this guy, it distributes them completely evenly based off of their uh, position. So I can create a perfect amount of space in, or the same exact amount of space in between each object. Pretty cool there. Um, one last thing is uh, that, I, that I really like, so I like that works with text too, is why I have this text here, is that I can position the text perfectly. Um, one last thing, uh, without making this video too long, um, in the align window, we have align two here, and I love this uh, object. You have align to selection or align to artboard. So if I hit align to artboard, it's going to position that in the exact center of my artboard or the exact side of my artboard, the exact like top corner of my artboard. Um, and that works for multiple objects as well. Pretty cool. So uh, roughly six minutes, uh, just a few tips and tricks to begin playing with perfect geometry in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.